is chapter two, the mystery of dry, dry ruins. Oh, <laughs> Oh wait, wrong video. Hey guys, it's Green Trump One. Welcome back for more Paper Mario. In the last part, um, uh, we got to the very end of Chapter Two, right before the final boss. Uh, let's go ahead and go in. Bleh! Oh my God, a Pharaoh's crown! And not shiny pharaoh crown. A pharaoh crown with two eyes that are really just purple pixels. I love saying that. Purple pixels. Anyway, so. Then his body comes together. That's actually one of my favorite animations in the entire game. They really take advantage of the paper part. That's really the only time they take advantage of the game being called Paper Mario in this game. They do it a lot in Paper Mario too, though. Anyways. You! You ignored all those very scary warnings! Don't you have the common sense to get scared and run away? What's wrong with you? You shouldn't mess with Tootin' Koopa, a faithful follower of King Bowser. Oops, I mean, you shall regret this. Not a good, very good pharaoh, buddy. Alright, anyways, this is Tootin' Koopa. He has 30 HP and 3 attack power. Uh, I don't know if he has any defense. I guess we're going to find out right now. Uh, you can't use your hammer on him. Uh, you can use Quake Hammer if you have it equipped, but that's really just kind of pointless. Uh, I guess we can just go ahead and open up with a Power Bounce. Which really sucks because, you know, he just got a Hammer Upgrade, and I guess he doesn't have any defense, which is good to know. And we'll just have Paracure use Skydive on him for a good 3 damage right there. Alright, so we've got a good 8 off of him already. <laughs> Jeez, you're just like Count Black. Come, chump, come, bite this intruder! Um, yeah, he does summon chomps. I believe they are a little bit more difficult than stone chomps. Um, but he's really not that hard. I think if you just use shell shot on it, it'll disappear immediately. Not 100% sure on this, though. Okay, maybe not. Uh, you can use your hammers on these chomps, though, which I highly recommend. Yeah, but these chomps have three defense. And I guess shell shot isn't affected by defense, so. And since I have damage dodge on, uh, I uh, take away two damage off that, which is very nice. I'll just go ahead and use another jump on him. Alright. Because I do want to kind of save my FP for those at chomps. Oh, I failed at the timing. It's not hammer timing, though. Bleh. I'm a magical genius. Watch and be amazed. Now, sometimes this attack is really bad. Because sometimes it count. Sometimes he'll get hit by that attack. And this really sucks because now Paracure is injured. Uh... So we can go ahead and use another power bounce on him. All right, not bad. Ah, oh, terrible timing for the chomp to come. Uh, what should I do next? Um. Um. Question mark. Should I use Quake Hammer? Uh, I really don't have any way of killing this chomp. Yeah, I might as well take a little bit of a chunk off of him. Yeah, this guy has three whopping defense. Um, I guess uh, when he come when it first comes out, I guess I'll put the uh, enemy bio for him because we haven't seen normal chomps yet. Um, I could probably use a good healing right about now. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and use Refresh because uh, my FP is kind of running a little bit low too, so. And you know what will be very helpful after this fight because we get another... S well, uh, I guess I must have it, although it's kind of obvious, but anyways. Um, anyway, so sh uh, just go Shell Shot on this guy here. Alright, that takes care of him. Alright, please be one where it backfires and you can defend on this attack. Ha! See? That's the worst attack ever, because also it leaves him stunned and knocks him off, and you can use your hammer on him. So really, it's the worst attack of his by far. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend Power Carry for this fight, because he can hit him while he's up top, and no other enemy can do that besides Goombario, who really sucks. And as for me, uh, Power Carry is the only upgraded member who can hit him, so... 
Ouch, what are you doing? That hurt. I'm, I'm the king of the desert, you rude, rude man. Take this. So we... Oh, wow, you lifted yourself up. Good job. Mario can do that by jumping. See, look, look. Look at how easily Mario can get up there. See? And he can get on top of you. On top of that. All right. And that's the end of Tootin' Koopa. That was not difficult at all. No! Chomp, 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 chomp. Aw, come here, Chompy. Wow, what are you- Ow, help! Yeah, we're gonna help you. A faithful follower to King Bowser. <laughs> Alright, anyways. I don't know what the heck that was. And, of course... A white dot! Yay, we get a white dot for defeating Cooper! Where's our white dot? I want the white dot, man! Okay, but anyways, uh... I believe that this is a Mammar, if I'm cr if I am correct. I guess we'll find out soon enough, though. End of chapter. Thus, Mario and party unearthed the legendary Dry Dry Ruins deep within the Dry Dry Desert. They smashed Toot and Koopa. The wizard and freed Mamar, the second of the wish granting star spirits. But the enemies awaiting Mario grew stronger and the challenges more difficult. What's in store for Mario and friends? Where will their adventure take them next? Oh, shoot, I think it said Ma Mamar somewhere in there. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's Mamar, though. So, um, what time are we at in the recording here? Um, oh, yeah, we're only in about. Well, we're just about seven minutes. I guess we can, uh... Uh... No, I really can't screw up the recording. Um, I think I'm just gonna continue without saving unless... And if I somehow mess up this recording. And we're back up at Princess Peach's castle. Alright. Hello. How are you feeling, Princess? Uh, nothing makes me happier than a smile from you, Peach. I like how she frowns as soon as she, she says that. Well, tough luck. I'm in a very bad mood, you monster. You've imprisoned all the guests from the castle. You are the single greatest disaster ever to befall the Mushroom Kingdom. Um, no, I think that's Mario's appetite. Oh, it is not a combined pile of pixels. Oh! Alright, anyways. I'll tell you what. I'll smile when you make everything as it was before you showed up. Wah, oh, that's rich. You know I can't do that. That's Shark Mario. Just beat the Koopa Brothers and Toon Koopa. Sure, they are complete wimps, but they were still loyal to me. I can't forgive Mario for disrespecting me. I'm nipping this in the bud right now. I'm going to use Invincible Tub of Blubber on him. He's the strongest creature I know. After me. You better, you best forget about Mario. Uh oh, Invincible. Your nastiness. We have a problem. Why, Kami Koopa, what's got you so riled up? You look upset. Oh, wrong voice. Psst, psst, psst. What? The Star Spirit flew away from Double Blubber's castle? And why am I using that accent on him? What? The, the Star Spirit flew away from Double Blubber's castle? K K King Bowser, keep your voice down. Princess Peach will hear you. She's right next to me anyways. I mean, next to Bowser anyways. How would she... If any of you heard that, that was my palm connecting with my forehead. Mm, yes, right. Tell me the details over there. Okay, so, now for this peach interlude, which I don't see as that bad of a part of the game, even though other people do. Twink, did you hear that? Yes, I sure did. The Star Spirit must have escaped. Did you hear him about the tub of blubber thing, Invincible? That doesn't sound good. Do you think Mario can win? We'd best try to find out about Tubba Blubba. If we can find something, anything, about a weak point, it might just save Mario. Good idea. Then, there's no time to lose. We won't get anything done if we stay in this room. Alright, just like last time, what you gotta do is you gotta uncover the painting, press the button, and find your way out of this room. Again. Now, unfortunately, Peach goes really slow. You can't jump or anything as a Peach or a Spin Dash. So it makes Peach really slow. I pressed the button! It had the exclamation point above it and I pressed A. I don't care what anyone says. Alright, so anyways, uh. 
Um, okay, so moving on here. Um, there's still guards outside. Be careful not to get caught. Okay, now, basically, this is how this part of the game works. You'll only get caught by the guards if you go into their uh, flashlight beam. Uh, this is where we're supposed to go. Yeah, you basically just can't get in the uh, guards uh, uh, line of sight. Um, but I want to go over here first. I think it's over here anyways. Yes, this is it. Uh, come over here and you can grab the deep focus badge. But of course, it says no good. Uh, uh, deep focus. So, um, well, I mean, just, it's just really not a good badge. But, of course, it, it'll do no good in Peach's hands. We have to get into Mario's hands. And this chest reminds me of something. Hmm, what was it? Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Oh, right. The farting chest. See, I knew that. Sorry. Peach fell asleep. All right, so anyways, let's examine this chest. Oh, look there. What a beautifully crafted treasure chest. Yes, do you like it? This is a mysterious treasure chest that's been passed down through generations of my family here at the castle. Really? How mysterious. A mysterious treasure chest. That's right. This chest is connected to another mysterious treasure chest somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. They say you can put things in this chest and take them out of the other chest. Isn't that, well, mysterious? Yeah, oh, wow, that's really cool. So where's the other treasure chest anyways? Er, where is it? You know, I can't remember. Yeah, in case you can't remember either, it was in that, uh, house with, uh, the guy who traded you star pieces for, uh, badgers. Pretty cool, well. Alright, anyways. Well, well. Alright, so. Uh, alright, let's go over here. Alright, so back in here. You basically. What the? Ugh, oh, how did I get caught? Alright, I guess I'm gonna cut because my dog keeps barking too, so. Well, actually, I can show you what happens when I, you get caught. You know, you're not allowed to leave the room. I'm sorry, but I have to take it out. I honestly don't know how I got caught. Yeah. Throw up. Sorry about that, so. Alright, so now that we don't have to go through the huge block of t text again. Oh, yes, and you can also skip the hallway once it's done twice, which is uh, somewhat nice. Well, not somewhat nice. Really nice. Alright, so, anyways, um. Alright, now let's not get caught by, th caught by this guard this time, shall we? Alright. We can walk back. All right. The air? All right, so that's how you get past that. Yeah, there's a guard right there, so watch out. Okay. Taking a risk here. Okay. Now, uh, this won't do any goods in our, uh hands either, so, uh, we'll have to put that in the, uh, chest next time, uh, we get a peach interlude. Uh, so, alright, so let's go over here, hear these guys talking. Hey, have you heard about Master Tubba Blubba? I heard a rumor that he loves eating ghosts. Ugh, ghosts, huh? Master Tubba Blubba, he lives deep inside Forever Forest, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of those star spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tubba Blubba lives in the castle at the top of Gusty Gulch. I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion in a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tubba Blubba sometimes goes there to catch booze. Now, see what that sounds like to me, catching booze? Sounds like getting a beer or something, but ugh. That's a little weird. And then, when he catches one, he gobbles it down, starting with its head. Chomp! Well, with booze, they're only heads, really. They're heads and arms, and that's it. Brr, oh man, that's so scary. No, I won't be able to walk to the bathroom alone at night. And I'm gonna have nightmares. I know I want you to tell me. I also heard that Master Tubba Blub is invincible. They say it can't be hurt. No one can even scratch him. He might even be stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible. Suck-ups. Even Master Tubba Blubba has to have some weak points. It's just common sense. 
Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that Tub of Love has got a secret that would ruin him if it ever got out. I bet it's about his past. I bet he didn't used to be strong at all. Shh! What if Tub of Love hears you? He might gobble us up. If he only eats ghosts, then... Still, what do you think his secret could be anyways? I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's a secret, you halfwit. Twink, it sounds like Tubba Blubba has a weak point after all. If only we can find out. Huh? Hey, did you hear something? Someone talking to us now? Gasp! Do you think someone knows we're goofing off in here? Oh, whoa! Princess Peach, how'd you get here? I'm sorry to do this, but you have to go back to your room. Right now. Oh, fail blog. Hey, Twink, while you're up there, collect the life shroom, will ya? Uh, collect it? Uh, no? Okay. Thank you, Mario. At last, I can he head home to Star Haven. My name is Mamar. Yeah, I got it right. So nice to see you in person. You've still got a long way to go, but I know you. But I just know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present for you. Mario Star and she goes up to two. Mario can now use Lullaby and use Star Spear power. But with Lullaby, you can make all enemies fall asleep. Call on me when times are bad. Believe this in this, Mario. My powers are still strong. I'm a star spirit after all. Wink. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Our powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the other star spirits as soon as possible. For now, I'm going back to recover in Star Haven. Who knows how my dear old Star Haven is faring without the Star Rod. Goodbye, Mario. I'm off. Totally hard thing. Okay, so I think we've done enough in this episode, don't you? Um, I guess whenever we collect a star spare, we, uh, recover fully. So, uh, I think I'm gonna end up this episode here. Next time on Paper Mario, we are going to, uh, do the Chapter 2 interlude and then head on to Chapter 3. See you guys there.